There are thousands of items in Fortnite, some are used by casuals and some are used by sweats and in today's video we are going to cover 30 tryhard items that you need to buy in Fortnite Season 6. Before we get into the video guys, YouTube is telling me that 85% of you guys watching this video right now are not subscribed, so if that is you, make sure to go down and hit that subscribe button and help us reach that goal of 200,000 subscribers. Remember as well guys to go down and smack that like like button let's try and reach 5,000 likes on this video and finally guys leave a comment with your favorite item in Fortnite for season 6 but that's enough talking let's get straight into the video Starting us off in the number 30 position, we have the brand new anime pack. This is going to be called the Anime Legends and this looks so, so good. We all know the Lexa skin from the Season 5 Battle Pass was so, so tryhard and that was really because of the anime look that it had. And now that we are getting a whole pack dedicated to these brand new skins, this is definitely going to be tryhard in Fortnite. Unfortunately, we don't really know when this is going to be added to the game. It could literally be in the store as soon as this video is uploaded but hopefully it does get added to the store soon moving on to the number 29 position we have the enduring cape this is one of the best backlings that you can buy in fortnite unfortunately though it does cost 2000 v bucks we really need an option in fortnite to just be able to buy the backling without having to buy the skin and that would save so many people a lot of v bucks spending 2000 v bucks on this backling doesn't make sense to a lot of people and that is why it is also one of the rarer tryhard backblings in the game. Hopefully though this feature does get added soon so more people can buy backblings like this and a lot of other really amazing ones in Fortnite. Moving forward to the number 28 position we have the Diamond Hand skin. This is a brand new skin in Fortnite and you can pick this up for 1200 V-Bucks. This is a very big meme skin. It is based off the Stonks meme which is so funny and this is very very tryhard at the moment because it is also a meme skin we have seen a lot of pros and streamers using this skin and it is only going to get more and more popular if you haven't already picked this up make sure you do so because it is so worth it I've loved using this skin already and it is going to be one of my favorite ones over the course of season 6 moving forward to the number 27 position we have the Astrola Masters axe this is a really underrated pickaxe in Fortnite at the moment it was added during this season with the Isabel skin and this is such an amazing pickaxe obviously it isn't going to be everyone's favorite but i've been using it pretty much ever since it got added to the game and it works so well with a lot of my favorite skins hopefully you guys did end up picking this pickaxe up because it is so clean and he's only going to get more try hard as the season goes on moving forward to the number 26 position guys we have spark plug now we all know that spark plug is a very try hard skin and the og version is very try hard because of clicks but we did end up getting a brand new edit style for this skin in season 6. This has already been very try hard and probably one of the most popular skins during this season as well. It is fully black and has a really amazing style to it and you can make some really amazing combos with this skin. I'm sure a lot of you guys have been using this skin because it is so so popular and will definitely be one of the better skins this season. Moving on to the number 25 position we have Michelle shown's katana now you can buy this for 2500 v bucks because it did come as part of a walking dead crossover and in this bundle you did actually get two skins and two pickaxes so for 2500 v bucks i definitely feel like this is worth it it is such an amazing pickaxe and it's obviously very similar to some other really amazing pickaxes like snake eyes katana and the sword of the daywalker they are also very try hard and deserve to be on this list as well moving on on to the number 24 position we have Kyra. Kyra is a really amazing underrated skin in Fortnite. It does cost 1200 V-Bucks but you don't really see too many people using it. We have seen quite a few pros and streamers using it since it was first released but unfortunately I don't feel like this skin is ever going to be as popular as it should be. It is definitely worth still picking up. No one is really maining this skin so if you guys do want to stand out and want to main a skin in Fortnite 
that, then I would highly recommend buying the Kyra skin. Moving on to the number 23 position, we have the entire Season 6 Battle Pass. This is one of the coolest Battle Passes we have had in quite a few seasons, and there are so many cosmetics in here that are definitely worth buying. We have the Lara Croft skin with heaps of different edit styles. We also have the Clark skin, which is just hilarious, and we also have the Axtrell form pickaxe. There are so many skins in this Battle Pass that are really amazing that I don't think are going to be tryhard like the Spire Assassin and the Raz skin, but it is definitely still worth picking up, and for only 950 V-Bucks, it is definitely worth the money. Make sure to let me know in the comments down below if you did buy the Season 6 Battle Pass. I'm really interested to know what level you guys are and what your favorite skin from this Battle Pass is. Moving on to the number 22 position, we have the Studded Axe. You can buy the Studded Axe for 800 V-Bucks about once every month when it does return to the store. It has been a very try-hard pickaxe for quite a long time and it doesn't seem like it is going to drop off anytime soon. It works really well with a lot of try-hard skins so if you guys are a fan of simplistic items i would highly recommend picking this up it is also known as the quietest pickaxe in fortnite so if you guys do want to be extra sweaty then definitely make sure you own this pickaxe moving on to the number 21 position we have the superhero skins the superhero skins have been some of the sweatiest skins we have ever had in fortnite they have dropped off a little bit in the past with a few changes to the fully white and fully black superhero skins and you don't really see too many people using them anymore however mongrel did start using this skin again so chances are this is going to be quite popular over the next few weeks there is a common trend in fortnite and when big pros start using tryhard skins they generally become quite popular again so definitely expect that to happen with these superhero skins unfortunately they are a little bit expensive compared to most of the skins on this list coming in at 1800 v bucks moving on to the number 20 position we have a very expensive skin and this is wildcat even though i did say superhero skins were one of the most expensive ones on this list coming in at 1800 v bucks the wildcat skin comes in at 400 dollars yes guys 400 dollars if you are going to pay 400 dollars for a skin then this is definitely going to be worth it it looks so so good it has three different edit styles and all of these styles are very try hard my favorite one is definitely the blueprint version it looks so sweaty and that seems to be the most popular one for this skin let me know in the comments down below guys if you own this skin because i hardly see anyone using this skin in game moving on to the number 19 position guys we have the sun sprout the sun sprout is a really amazing back bling it only costs 200 v bucks as well so it is one of the cheapest cosmetics in fortnite history it's going to work well with so many try hard skins and it does return to the store very often so if you don't already have this item i highly recommend picking it up moving forward to the number 18 position we have the combat knife this came to the game with the sarah connor skin and was part of the terminator crossover it wasn't really popular when those items were first introduced but it has definitely gained a lot of popularity since season 6 started it has one of the coolest designs out of all of the pickaxes in fortnite and also has a custom animation as well so if you guys do want to change it up a bit, I would highly recommend using this pickaxe. Moving on to the number 17 position, we have the Dark Bomber. This is one of the most OG tryhard skins in the game and has pretty much been popular since Chapter 1 Season 6. Unfortunately, we have seen this skin drop off quite a bit since the start of Chapter 2, but hopefully it does start to get more popular as the season goes on. Fortnite is obviously adding a lot of skins similar to this in the game at the moment, we did get the Bright Storm Bomber a few weeks ago, and that wasn't really as popular as I thought it was going to be, but hopefully Fortnite do add some more Dark Series skins in the future, because they are some of my favorite ones in Fortnite. Moving on to the number 16 position, we have the Gold Crow and the Bold Bar. The Gold Crow was part of the Double Agent Bundle in Fortnite, and we haven't seen this pack return since Chapter 2 Season 3. It is one of the best bundles that has ever been added to the game, 
So hopefully it does return soon, so a lot of you guys that did miss out have the opportunity to pick it up. And the Bold Bar is very popular and sweaty at the moment. This pickaxe only releases around Easter, so everyone that has missed out in the previous years buying this skin is finally picking it up and is going to start using it. It looks so sweaty, especially when you pair it with the Hopper skin, which is very underrated as well. These make a really amazing combo and one of my favorite holiday combos in Fortnite. Moving on to the number 15 position, we have Zadie. Zadie is a really amazing 1200 V-Bucks skin and it also has three different edit styles. My favorite one is still the Arctic version, but if you guys do prefer the default or even the jungle version, they are very sweaty as well. This skin is also in the store right now, so if you do not have it, make sure you do go and pick it up. It is so, so sweaty and is only going to get more and more popular over the next few weeks. Coming in at the number 14 position, we have the Speed Force. This is a really underrated back bling that no one is really talking about in the community, but I definitely feel like it deserves to be a try-hard back bling. This did come to the game during Chapter 2 Season 5 with the Flash crossover, and this was instantly one of my favorite back blings. I've been using it on so many skins, and you guys can see how sweaty this back bling does look. Hopefully more pros do start to use this in the future. I know a lot of pros aren't really using back blings at the moment, but hopefully when they do start using them again, the Speed Force is one of their go-to back blings. Moving on to the number 13 position, we have the Mogul Masters. These have been so tryhard since the early days of Fortnite. Unfortunately though, they do cost 1,500 V-Bucks each, when these definitely could have been one skin with lots of different edit styles. Pretty much every single version of this skin is tryhard as well. So regardless of which one you buy, you guys are going to look very, very sweaty. Moving forward to the number 12 position, we have the Driver Pickaxe. This is a 500 V-Buck pickaxe that always seems to be popular in Fortnite. It doesn't matter how many seasons this has been in the game for, it is always going to be popular. It does also return to the store very, very often. So if you don't already have this, you'll definitely have the opportunity to pick it up in the next few weeks. Moving on to the number 11 position, we have Isabel. Isabel is a brand new skin this season and has actually been pretty popular in Fortnite. There are quite a few casuals and sweats using this skin, so we don't really know how tryhard this is going to be in the future, but this is one of my favorite skins that has been added to the game this season. It does also have four different edit styles, so you have a lot of choices on which style you want to use. It does cost 1,500 V-Bucks, but it is so worth it in my opinion. Coming in at the number 10 position, guys, we have the Harley Hitter. This is a really amazing 800 V-Buck pickaxe in Fortnite that has been very popular since its release in Chapter 2 Season 1. Unfortunately though, it is a crossover item and it hasn't been in the store for a very long time. Hopefully though, with a brand new Harley Quinn skin being teased this season, it should be returning to the store during Season 6. Moving on to the number 9 position guys, we have the Rainbow Clover. This has been a very try-hard back bling and also very popular because of Mongrel and Mitro. Ronaldo does also use this back bling as well, but Mongrel has pretty much been using this back bling since it was first released. It is so tryhard and is going to look sweaty on every single skin. Even if you are using a noob skin and pair it with the Rainbow Clover, it is going to look so tryhard and so sweaty as well. Moving on to the number 8 position, we have Travis Scott. Now, Travis Scott definitely deserves to finish higher up on this list, but we haven't seen it for so long in Fortnite that it has definitely started to drop off. It gained a lot of popularity when Mongrel started to use this skin again, but that has been about four months since he started using it, and now we don't really see too many people using it anymore. I do still feel like as soon as this skin does get added back to the game, it is going to be so popular and so many of you guys are going to be using this skin. Moving on to the number seven position, we have the Axe of Champions. The Axe of Champions speaks for itself. It is so sweaty because you have to be a 
champion in order to get this pickaxe. It doesn't come to the store. It isn't part of a bundle. The only way you can get this pickaxe is by being the best player at Fortnite. It would be cool if they did make an edit style for this pickaxe that came to the item shop, but I think they want to keep this as exclusive as possible, and I don't really see that happening. Moving on to the number six position, we have Aura. Yes, guys, Aura coming in at number six. This is a really amazing 800 v buck skin and definitely worth buying if you don't already have it. I'm sure a lot of you guys do because it has been so tryhard for quite a few seasons now. And for such a cheap price, it is definitely worth picking up. You see so many people using this in every single game, regardless of if this is arena, casual games, box fighting, or even competitive matches, you will always come across a lot of people using this skin. Moving on to the number 5 position, we have Manic. Manic is a really amazing 800 v buck skin, and if you guys don't already have this, you definitely need to buy it. It is so, so sweaty, and the only thing I wish Fortnite did with this skin was make some edit styles. I'd love to see some different colors for the helmet and the mask and I feel like that would really boost this skin's popularity again. Moving forward to the number four position, we have the Leviathan Axe. This is a 1,000 V-Buck pickaxe in Fortnite that has been so tryhard since its release. We have seen a lot of pros, especially Benji Fishy, using this pickaxe, and he is definitely one of the main reasons why this is so popular today. It did compete with the Star 1 for the best pickaxe in the game for quite a lot of Chapter 2 Season 5, but lately it has started to drop off with so many amazing pickaxes being added to the game. Moving on to the number three position, guys, we have the Spectral Spine. This is by far the sweatiest back bling in the game at the moment, and there are still so many people that use this back bling every single day. Even though the trend in Fortnite is to use no back bling at all, the only thing that is pretty much as popular as no back bling is the Spectral Spine. It works well on so many different styles of skins, and is going to make every single skin look sweaty. I I would also really love to see some different edit styles for this back bling. Imagine a red spectral spine or even a gold version of this back bling that would look so good on so many skins and something that Fortnite definitely needs to add to the game. Moving forward to the number two position, we have Siren. Yes guys, Siren is coming in at the number two position. This is the sweatiest skin in the game at the moment and has pretty much been the most tryhard skin in Fortnite since it was first added in Chapter 2 Season 2. You do get two different styles of this skin, both of which are very, very tryhard and definitely worth picking up if you don't already have it. We've seen a lot of pros and streamers using this skin since it was first released, especially Benji Fishy, who is really responsible for making this skin as popular as it is today. But finally, guys, coming in at the number one position, we have the Star Wand. This is an 800 V-Buck pickaxe that has been very tryhard since it was first added in Chapter 1 Season 8. You see so many people using it. Regardless of what skin you are using, this pickaxe is going to work with it perfectly. It doesn't matter whether you are a casual player or a sweat, you love how this pickaxe looks. And it just works so well in every single game mode as well. There are so many pros out there that use it, so many sweats and streamers as well. So if you don't already have this pickaxe, I would definitely be buying it when it does return to the store. But there you guys go. That is my list for 30 tryhard items you need to buy in Season 6. I hope you guys did enjoy this list. It is definitely one of the longer videos on my channel, but hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you are brand new, remember to hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 200,000 subscribers. Hit that like button as well, and remember to comment your favorite item in the game at the moment. I'm really interested to see see what you guys say and we'll try and reply to every single one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to click one of the videos on your screen right now and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.